Okay. I'm going to record a couple official laps. I think I got the uh, the KLX adjusted so that that uh, hanging idle is gone, I think. And it idles smoother and I don't have to keep the clutch part way out. Anyway, so I'm going to record a, a fresh lap or two with the current state of the track and I'm going to take all the options, I guess. So first I'm going to do the little woods option and get that out of the way. So here we go. The uh, grass next to the track is getting to be quite long. I guess there are options within the options I should mention. There's a little adventure section Jack wanted. Back onto the normal track. That's the little high speed option to the right. This is more of the like skill option where you gotta kinda cut it hard to get around. Back onto the main track. This is my favorite spot right there. A little bump and then a cut on the main track. This is the second straightaway. There's a decreasing radius hairpin turn, second smallest on the track. There's technically a little mini berm that we never quite built up, but it's there. It's probably the second kind of hairpin on the track. Here's the crossover. There's a third straightaway right here into a curve. There's a pretty tight turn right here decreasing radius. Kind of a S-curve right here. Into the tightest hairpin on the track. There's a, a shortcut loop for the fast guys. There's a long loop for the little guys or the slower riders or whatever. Or if somebody wants to let someone else go by. There's the exit to the skills section. Main track here there's Jack's little pull-off where she always adjusts her helmet. This is the main track. I do think I have this adjusted better. I just did a little mini wheelie just from shifting. There's a little baby jump right there. If you shift into second right when you're cresting on it you can get some air or maybe a front wheel up. Here's the fast guy part of the go back into the skill section right here. Yeah, this thing is pulling better than it was before. What uh, what I had to adjust was um, the, what do you call it, the fuel screw. I think it was screwed out way too far. It was like way too rich, which kind of explains why sometimes when I first started it, after choking it to get it going, I had to sort of leave the choke about a quarter of the way out to keep it running. So it's like it needed extra air to allow for all the fuel that was flooding in and idle from that uh, fuel screw being out too far. So I screwed it in until it would just about died. And then I slowly started unscrewing it until I found the, just the peak of the maximum RPMs and uh, readjusted the idle. It went back and forth a couple times just to make sure that both of them were accounting for each other's adjustments and then uh, now it doesn't do that hanging idle thing. Well, when I let off the throttle, the, the, the revs dropped pretty much immediately. So pretty sure my hanging idle problem was because the fuel screw was out way too far. So this is the current state of the track. Go into the adventure section. I think we might need to get a little tree trimming, a little tree trimming uh, thing out here and take it care of. Maybe two branches. One right here. Uh. And then this you can either exit right back onto the main track or you can cut left. Take the little Jack's little adventure section over here. A little dip right here. Uh. 
So let's go check out the interior of the track and then also the little uh, the, the other little track, the other little part of the trail we entered or uh, created this year, which is right here. Probably easier to hit it coming from the other direction, but no big deal. Just kind of a bumpy little shortcut that Jack likes. Yeah, this thing is running way better now. Noticeably. I think, oh, there goes a the little baby bunny. I, even though there's that little berm there, I love trying to kind of carve that corner. Yeah, this thing's running way better. No more sputtering. And then when I kick it in a second, a lot of times the back end will fish out on me a little bit. I'm wondering about the visibility with this grass bin. Hopefully everybody can see each other clear enough. Now that the weeds are this tall, that people aren't going to be bumping into each other. I'll take Jack's other favorite way. She likes to go this way. I don't like to do this when visitors are here because uh, just because of the liability of somebody suddenly swinging in the driveway. And it's also gravel, which is not too friendly for people to crash on. But this is the way that Jack and I used to go. This way. She would go left around this tree, I'd go right, then into the into her adventure in the woods section. Some of those turns are tight enough where you're practically just pivoting around your foot. And then this can come right out of here, straight back onto the track. go see what the uh, access paths look like in the center of the track. Never go fast on this concrete because it looks like it's cement and it should stick to the tires, but it is polished and it's sort of like a layer of dust on there and it basically just is like a sheet of Teflon. So. The track is perfect. It's even got a little tiny bit of slick loose layer on the top there, probably from the rain we've had in the last few days. Take the tight turn. Pretty good. 